you guys. So for today's holiday video, we are going to be doing a client makeup tutorial. So I'm going to be walking you through each step of doing makeup on my beautiful client, Andrea. And she's actually a hairdresser, so we work together a lot on our brides. But we're going to be starting off by carving out her brows. I am using the P. Louise base. I think this was in rumor one. And sometimes I like to start off by carving out the brows before I go in with the brow products. I feel like it just gives me a guideline when I'm filling in the brow with whatever product I'm using, whether it be a powder, a pencil. I just feel like it gives me a nice guide. Today I decided to go in with a pomade. I was using the ColourPop. Pop brow pomade in Bang and Burnettes, and she is like really good brows. <laughs> she just has a perfect shape, so I really didn't have to do much to her brows at all. I just filled them in slightly, and yeah, that was that. I didn't really do too much. Um, moving on, I'm just going to be taking that P. Louise base and putting it all over the eye um, to prime the rest of the lid. Then going in with the Makeup With Jaw Clientele Palette. This is a palette in collaboration with, like I said, Makeup With Jaw and Be Perfect Cosmetics. If you do not have this palette and you are a freelance makeup artist or, you know, a makeup artist doesn't have to be freelance, just if you are a makeup artist, you need this palette, okay? It's amazing. It has every color you'll need, and I love it so much. So I was basically working with all of the mauve and burgundy tones in that palette. Um, and I'm just starting off by building up that mauve shade uh, in the crease. And then I'm going in with a lighter brown and just buffing that um, mauve color out a little bit with a fluffier brush. But I wanted to go in with the mauve shade first to like really get that pigment um, on the eye because I wanted this eye to be pretty dramatic as you can tell. Now I'm just deepening up the eye. Again, I'm using only the clientele palette for this look. I did use different shades um, on the lid, but I'll tell you what that is when we get to that point. So I'm just deepening up the outer corner and just building up that color. This is one of those looks that looks a little crazy at first. You know, makeup's a process. It doesn't look good the whole way through. It definitely comes together in the end. <laughs> so now I'm taking the color. I believe this is the dark brown shade in the palette, which I think is called Too Much. Um, and I'm just deepening up the outer corner even more with a small little pointed blender brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the NYX Primer Pigment um, or pigment primer rather uh, and just apply that on her eyelid. This is just going to be like a sticky base for the eyeshadows so they have something to stick to and it just makes them pop. Um, I'm going to be using the Cosette Beauty. By the way, I apologize for the lighting. It kind of got a little funky here. Um, but I'm just going to be using the Cosette Beauty eyeshadows. Um, I use the shades Platinum and Bliss, I believe. Um, you can get these eyeshadows on Camera Ready Cosmetics or Friends Beauty. They are some of the prettiest shimmer shades I've ever used. Like, I'm obsessed with them. They're so good. And with a discount, um, a pro discount, I believe they're only like 8 bucks, so it's not bad. Um, now I'm just going back into the clientele palette and I just decided to take a burgundy color to blend and mesh the eyelid shades with the crease shade um, just so it kind of all blends together. Then I'm going to be going in with the Inglot number 77 gel liner and I'm just going to line the eyes and then I did end up going over it with a black liquid liner just to really make the eyeliner pop and be a little bit more dramatic. Um, I always use the Makeup Forever matte liquid liner. Um, and now I'm just taking a matte black shadow just to kind of smoke out the outer edge of the wing. I love doing this. Um, one, because then your wings don't have to be completely perfect because you're smoking them out. And two, I just think it gives the eyes a beautiful, like, exotic shape. I did go in the waterline with a black liner. And now I was just measuring her lashes to make sure they fit. And um, I did have to trim them a little bit. I'm just going in with MAC prep and prime spray um, fix plus spray and now I'm just using an illuminating primer 
I don't know the name of the primer. I just um, got it in my Ipsy Glam Bag, but I wanted to use something hydrating and illuminating since her skin was on the drier side. I do want to mention, coming up in like a second, um, some of the footage did, I don't know what happened to it. The I had the sound of it, but no picture would come up. So I don't know what happened to it. So some of the face portion of this video, unfortunately, you won't be able to see because... I don't know. I really don't know what happened to it, but I will explain everything. <laughs> so here I'm just using the Era Beauty Foundation. Um, a lot of makeup artists that I follow use this foundation, and it does photograph beautifully. I don't, I'm not like in love with it, but I, I do see why people like it. It is a pretty foundation. It comes in a can, so um, it is a spray foundation, but I just spray it onto a palette and then apply it with a sponge. I don't spray it directly onto the face, and as you can see, um, it, it did look lighter on camera than her face, but it does match her neck. So I am going in with the cream contour, and I'm using the Mayron um, Highlight and Contour Cream Palette. I love that palette. And then I'm using the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. I think this was in the shade Light 10. I love this concealer. It's amazing. I not only love it for myself, but I'm definitely going to be purchasing more shades for my kit because it's so good. It just blends out so easily, easily and the coverage is good. Like Everything about it is just amazing. So I am obsessed with that concealer. Um, and then I'm just using my sponge to blend out the contour as well. Um, just to jump ahead a little bit because I do want to explain the footage that was missing. <laughs> so I did use the Air um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish um, Powder underneath the eyes to set. And then I use Hoola Bronzer and then Morphe um, Blush Palette. And now I'm just going in with the Cookie Highlighter by Benefit to highlight the face. Moving on to the lower lash line, I am using pretty much the same shades that I use in the crease on the lower lash line. I'm just pressing them against um, the lash line and then just blending them out and smoking them out a little bit. And then I took the eyeshadow called Mica from, again, Cosette Beauty to highlight the inner corners. And now I'm just taking MAC Emphasize Powder just to brighten up the under eye area. I do this pretty much on all my clients. It just... It just gives such a beautiful finish underneath the eyes, and I'm going in with some mascara. Now moving on to lips, I'm using the Il Maquillage and Carly Bible um, collaboration in the shade Bible. I love this lip liner. It's awesome, and yeah, it's just so good. And then I'm going to be using um, Dose of Colors Truffle Liquid Lipstick, and then I topped it off with ColourPop so Juicy Gloss. Um, I don't remember the shade, but any kind of nude gloss would do. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.